Hey guys, so if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I recently dyed my hair. It is much lighter than it was, so I'm just going to show you how I did it. So I'm starting off with the L'Oreal Quick Blue Extra Strength Bleach Packet, and I did get two because I have a lot of hair and I'm doing my entire head. I probably could have gone with three, but then I'm just going to put those two packages into this plastic bowl with the mixing I don't even know what that's called fork we're gonna call it a fork <laughs> and then I have my um, toners that I'm gonna be using I did get this so sil silver shimmery lights shampoo and I have 30 and 20 developers so those are all the products that I'm gonna be using here is a quick view of my hair kind of brassy a uh, really honey blonde not a real blonde as I jokingly say but you can see that I have a lot of new growth that is like really 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 close to black dark brown and I'm just gonna go in there and clean it up I can't wait to be a real blonde so now it's time to mix the 30 developer and the blue packets until you have a creamy consistency I probably could have gone with three of the quick blue packages because I did feel like I didn't have enough And the mixture was creamy enough so I didn't want to add too much developer to the point where it would be you know slipping down my head and not take onto my hair so I just try to get it to the perfect consistency so I'm just going to take my hair out of those ponytails that I had and try to section it off but you'll see later on that the sectioning didn't really work because I didn't want to use any metal bobby pins or I was scared to use the hair ties that have the metal on it, I just, no metal. So I went in at the top of my new growth. I tried not to go on my scalp, but that really wasn't successful either because your scalp is generally like the, well not generally, your scalp is the warmest part of your head since that's what your hair is connected to. So it will bleach faster just because it has heat on it already. just painting that bleach on to the hair that is the darkest first of course so that it could start to lighten up before everything else and it did take me a while I didn't even time it but I was just all over the place not knowing how to section this is my first time or it was my first time so now that I feel like all of the darker sections are bleached enough I'm just gonna go into the sections that are already lightened the ends of my hair if you can have somebody help you do this just to make sure that you get everything that would really be helpful but if not maybe if you have like two different mirrors that you can use to see the back that would really help too so now my entire head is covered in the bleach mixture and again looking back I did miss there's a spot right there that's still darker if you can see it on the right side of my head I did miss that part but I'll show you like how I cleaned it up so I'm just going to go in with this Dollar Tree bag and another mistake that I made was using a Dollar Tree bag because as you will see later, it has the green dye on it. So if you have a, this is one of those deep conditioning, it's fine. Bleach, I would use a real cap or just a plain white cap, nothing with any color on it because you can see here, <laughs> I have the green dye in my hair child a disaster but I will say that I do like the lightened hair I loved love loved my hair so I'm just going in checking seeing if everything you know colored if everything took how it looks and I'm jamming out I like it it looks cute the back is done but then I shampooed my hair and of course you know, all the white mixture that made my hair look more blonde than it was got rinsed out, shampooed out. So this is the orange mess that I am left with, but we do have our toner and our developer that we're going to mix. I did use T14 
Um, you want to make sure that you absolutely, absolutely rinse all the bleach out. I would hate for you to leave like bleach in your head. So make sure you need a shampoo two or three times and you can do that. I'm just going to go in with um, some more shampoo, like I said, to get any more residue, any more bleach, any more of the products that we used earlier out of my hair. So now I'm just going to go with the T14 toner and I used the 30 developer. It is one part toner to two parts developer but I added a little bit more because I also added a little bit of the T10 toner in there. So I just mixed that up and then I just applied it all over my head. Again, if you do have a lot of hair, I would recommend getting two toners and just, you know, doing that to make sure that you don't miss any parts because I would hate for you to have some brassy hair and some toned hair. So just make sure that you have enough mixture and that it isn't too soupy, but it also isn't too thick. So I applied that all over my head going in at the roots first and then I did the bottoms of my hair. I also twisted it up and let it sit. You do want to watch and make sure that your hair is toning at the rate that you expected it to because you don't want to overtone. And if you do, um, you know, I have seen people use lemon juice to fix that. But going back to the trick that I told you all about, since I missed a spot with the bleach in the back if you use toner on it it will lighten your hair just a tad bit it won't bleach it of course because it's not bleach but it will lighten it so that's how I was able to kind of remedy the fact that I missed some parts in the back and they're a little darker but other than that like I said you want to make sure that you are watching your hair to ensure that it doesn't turn gray or any of those other funky colors like purple of course the mixture will make it look like it's toning a little bit faster but time it if you need to do some test strands and you should be fine
I'm happy with the result. Um, I feel like the toner made it a little bit darker or more ashy than I wanted it, but I still realize that it's a lot lighter than it has been in the past. So stay tuned to see what I do next and let me know how it goes for you all. Bye!